Preacher Rick with you one more time. Glad to be in your home or car, wherever you might be today. Glad to be sharing the Word of God here live at 5 on Facebook. And we are, this is part two, you might say, of the same sermon. God gives all scripture. And the reason it's part two is because uh, we got cut off, uh, we lost our service yesterday in the middle of the sermon. So we figured God would just give us to us back today and we'll just get it all the way through today by the grace of God. Appreciate your prayers. Be much in prayer that God will just have his way. We'll review a little bit of what we went over yesterday and hit on some new things today. I want to look at Second Timothy, uh, the third chapter, verse 16 and 17, as we read yesterday to get us started. God gives all scripture, the Holy Bible. Amen. The word of God. It's every bit of us given by God. Amen. I only use the King James Version. I don't want anything take it out or anything added to. I'm very cautious about that. Now, it says in chapter 3, verse 16, all scripture is given by inspiration of God. So there it is. There's where we get our title today. That all, all scripture is given by God, all of it, every bit of it, by inspiration of God, and it's profitable for doctrine. As I said yesterday, that means teachings, teachings of his word is profitable. Uh, for reproof, uh, to prove things and to reprove them, uh, for correction, to help us learn from our mistakes and for instruction in righteousness and uh, help us learn how to live in right standing with God. That the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. So striving for perfection as man looks on the outward appearance and God looks on the heart. And God knows if we're striving for perfection and he sees it as perfect if we are. So uh, then... I'd like to turn over today uh, to Second Peter, the first chapter, in the last two verses, or the last three verses we might read of that chapter, Second Peter 1, 19. We have also a more sure word of prophecy. Amen. Whereunto ye do well that ye take heed as unto a light that shineth in a dark place. Until the day dawn and the day star rise in your hearts, and all of a sudden you see that light. Amen. His word is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. And then it goes on saying, knowing this first, this is verse 20 of chapter 1 of Second Peter, knowing this first that no prophecy of the scripture is of any private interpretation or one man's ideas. That's how a lot of denominations or, uh, or cults get started. Uh, when people take uh, verses out of context and, uh, and the devil just uses the word of God in a perverted way. So it's not given of no private interpretation. Then you get to verse 21. For the prophecy came not in old time by the will of man. Amen. It wasn't by the will of man that any of the Bible was written, any of the 66 books. But holy men of God spake as they were moved by the Holy Ghost. Amen. Just the same as a true man of God that's preaching that God is called to preach still today is moved by the Holy Ghost. Amen. And uh, God anoints us. He anoints his lips of clay and he sends the preacher. And as I've shared many times, there's really only one preacher and that's the Holy Spirit of God. And he calls men to be used as a vessel for him. Now, I'd like to turn over in that same book, just to turn over a page probably in your Bible to the uh, third chapter in the second verse. And it said, and this will prove to you because uh, it's of no private interpretation, like we just read. Holy men of God wrote it. And this will prove to you, some people deny the Old Testament and say we don't need it. Well, we do. Uh, the Bible teaches, I didn't look that scripture up, but it's in there, and I can look it up for you, that it's a schoolmaster given to us, and it leads us. So we learn from the Old Testament. But here, this verse, chapter 3, verse 2 of Second Peter says, that ye may be mindful of the words which were spoken before by the holy prophets. That'd be the Old Testament. Like Isaiah, Jeremiah, Ezekiel, Micah, and it just goes on. And, and that's a conjunction, the word and, putting the two phrases together because they're both important. And of the commandment of us, the apostles of the Lord and Savior. Amen. In other words, the epistles that are written uh, that we have in the Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, that we have through the apostles, uh, thank God, that's the New Testament. So uh, uh, all of the Word of God, all Scripture is given by inspiration of God, whether it be the Old Testament or the New Testament. Uh, we're not living 
under or in the Old Testament anymore, but it's still inspired by God, uh, and it is our schoolmaster, thank God. Uh, and uh, so it says here in this verse that we need to be mindful of these words, uh, uh, whether they be uh, in Genesis or Revelation or any book in between, uh, uh, which were spoken before by the prophets and then by the apostles. Uh, so uh, knowing that all scripture is given by God, uh, uh, thank God, and that we need to be mindful of it uh, and understanding, thank God, it's of no private interpretation uh, uh, and it's not one's little old denomination. Uh, it kind of tickles me when I hear denomination or some preachers uh, uh, think that if you're not a part of their church uh, or their denomination, then you're not saved. Well, that's kind of humorous. Uh, uh, that's putting God awful small. Uh, uh, but God's been saving ever since Jesus uh, hung on the cross uh, through the grace dispensation, uh, and he saved before that, thank God, in his own ways and will, uh, uh, thank God, in the Old Testament. Uh, but I'm so glad, thank God, uh, that they looked forward to the cross, and we look back at it, but it's all uh, through Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Uh, uh, thank God, and it's of no private interpretation, uh, uh, but it's the preaching of the cross that will save the world. World. Uh, uh, why? Because uh, that is the Word of God, and it comes straight from heaven. Uh, uh, thank God it is a stand when this world's on fire. Uh, uh, thank God, and let me tell you, as I started to say yesterday, got a little bit of it out. Uh, we're living in perilous times, uh, and the rapture of the church is uh, uh, soon to happen. I'm, I'm just totally convinced of that. Uh, I've heard a lot of people that were reluctant to say much. They say, well, no man knows the hour nor the day. Uh, amen. Uh, I totally agree with that, but uh, we can see by the signs of the time what we're living in. Uh, and as I started to share yesterday, uh, with this social, uh, uh, this uh, we used to call it uh, uh, back when I was young, uh, communism, and now they're calling it socialism. Uh, but let me tell you, uh, it's still uh, what it was then. It never changes. And we got a lot of uh, uh, so-called big wheels in the world that are heading up the one world government. Uh, well, the scripture teaches that that's what's going to come to pass, uh, and, and it's closer now than it's ever been. Uh, it all started back after first world, the First World War, uh, then it continued down through the years uh, with the Second World War and all the uh, heads of the world getting together, uh, and now we got a, a technology just uh, flying out the roof, uh, uh, and we've got uh, microchips, and we've got uh, all kinds of computer technology mixing it with biology uh, and it just goes on and on and on. Uh, uh, listen, if we don't open our eyes to the truth uh, and see what time we're living in, that's our own fault. Uh, uh, Jesus even told us uh, you can see the signs uh, and you can tell the weather. Uh, and as I shared yesterday, uh, uh, you know the old saying, red sky in the morning, sailor take warning. Red sky at night, sailor delight. Uh, and, and you know, we can predict uh, the weather somewhat with our uh, uh, studies today and with radar technology and all that. Uh, uh, but uh, what Jesus was saying, uh, he was saying basically, uh, uh, you can also see the signs of the time. And if you don't see them, it's your own fault. Uh, uh, I believe with all my heart. Uh, uh, thank God. Uh, he said even in his day, watch for you know not what day nor hour your Lord doth come. Uh, if he told them to watch then, uh, how much more should we be watching now that we've got computer technology? Uh, we got this pandemic going around the world that's crippled the economy, uh, uh, which is going to help lead uh, uh, to one world government, no doubt, before it's all over with. Uh, uh, we had uh, uh, all kinds of things Things that have happened in our face, uh, and, and if we don't see it, uh, uh, we're acting like an ostrich that sticks its head in a hole and acts like the world's not around it. Uh, uh, but that's not how we are, and I know you're not either. Uh, uh, so let's all open our eyes up uh, uh, to the time we're living in and get our loved ones saved. We're not of this world anyway. Uh, uh, we should take heart uh, uh, that we're privileged uh, uh, to live today, that we can help get people saved, uh, bringing 
seen in the sheaves, thank God, because all the scripture uh, is given by God. Uh, uh, thank God it's all inspired by God, every word of it. Uh, uh, thank God I believe every little jot, every little tittle. Uh, uh, thank God I believe everything that God says. Uh, uh, thank God beyond any shadow of a doubt. And you can hide that uh, in your heart like David did. And if you'll hide it in your heart uh, uh, that you'll not sin against God and against heaven, uh, uh, you'll find that his grace will be sufficient for you uh, uh, to get you through every uh, uh, thing this old world throws at you. Uh, I'm glad that I'm not of this world. I've been saved. Uh, thank God. Uh, I've learned, thank God, that God wants us to be sanctified, holy, uh, transformed from all unrighteousness. Uh, he wants us to overcome evil with good. Uh, he wants us to be faithful uh, uh, to his cause, to get the gospel out to the ends of the earth, uh, to get our children saved, our loved ones saved, the stranger along the way. Uh, the preaching of the cross is foolishness uh, unto the world, but to us that are saved, it's the power of God uh, unto salvation. Uh, and I see, uh, uh, thank God, souls, uh, uh, thank God out there that are lost, uh, that are starved to death for the truth. Uh, uh, we need to preach the truth. Uh, the truth will set you free. Uh, Christ is the truth. Uh, he's the answer, thank God, uh, to this old world we're living in, uh, to the death that's coming, uh, uh, to this uh, each one of us individually, and to this old world. Uh, oh, death, where is thy sting? Uh, oh, grave, where is thy victory? I'm glad it's been swaddled up. Uh, uh, thank God, and I know... Uh, I thank God the author and the finisher of my faith that Jesus is the one that conquered it all. Uh, he hung on the cross between the heaven and the earth. Uh, and thank God he looked down and said, Father, forgive them, uh, for they know not what they do. Uh, uh, those words uh, are recorded uh, uh, because they're the words of the Lord Jesus Christ. And he meant everything he said. Uh, and that forgiveness is there for you. It's there for me. Uh, it's still the word of God, and it will stand forever. It's forever settled in heaven. It'll stand when this world's on fire. And old Peter told us that it's going to burn. We know that. But I'm glad that I'll not be in those flames, and none of God's children will. We'll be safe in the arms of Jesus, to be absent from the bodies, to be present with the Lord. And when the rapture comes, the dead in Christ shall rise first, then we will which are alive and remain shall be called up to meet them in the air uh, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Uh, uh, thank God. That's rejoicing shouting ground for me. Uh, that's something thank God uh, uh, that's worth shouting about, worth preaching about, uh, uh, worth hiding in my heart uh, and it helps me uh, to know that I'm not of this world and the old pandemic uh, and the old foolishness of mankind and the governments of this world uh, uh, they won't amount to a hill beans when we get home. Uh, uh, thank God we're not of this world. Uh, we've been saved, thank God, through the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ, born again, uh, washed by his blood, cleansed from all unrighteousness, forgiven, mercy shown to us through the love of God. Bless his loving and holy name. This is Preacher Rick. Until the next time, beloved, push that share button and get the gospel out as far as you can. Why there's time, get them saved. It's the word of God. It'll stand when this world's on fire. We love y'all. God bless you. Until the next time. Bye-bye.